Hello, it's Leslie Fightmaster. Today's class is a stretching class. So moving and stretching. Ina Gary asked for a weekend stretching class. This will probably not be out on a weekend, but you could always do it on a weekend. So let's start sitting up nice and tall and close your eyes and take a moment to bring your hands together in front of your hearts, setting your intention for your practice. All intentions are always welcome, just a way for you to connect to your practice. And from here, let's move right into a child's pose with the arms extended in front. Take your knees a little bit wider today just so that you can feel some more stretching in the outer hips, the inner thighs. And then see if with your arms extended in front of you, if maybe you can walk your fingertips a little more forward to stretch out your spine. Begin to connect in with your ujjayi pranayama breathing in and out through the nose. And if you're not sure about what Ujjayi Pranayama is, I just recently uploaded a short video about breathing Ujjayi Pranayama during our practice and also engaging our bandhas. So I would encourage you to check that out if you're interested. On your next inhale, make your way onto your hands and knees. Line up your wrists under your shoulders. Reach your right arm out to the right. As you exhale, come onto your right shoulder. Take your left hand to your lower back or reach around and hook it onto your right thigh and pull your left hip back or you could extend the left leg back, tucking the toes under or even lifting the leg up. If you do decide to lift the leg, drop the outer left hip down or else you'll roll right onto your back. I like to keep my foot down because then I can roll the left shoulder open a little bit more and try and get into stretching my shoulder. Inhale, make the, your way back into table. And we'll do the other side. So left arm out to the left, stretch it out. Exhale, sweep it underneath the right arm. Come on to the left shoulder. And bring your right hand behind you to the low back or hook it onto your left thigh. Pull the right hip back or extend the right leg behind you, tucking the toes under or perhaps lifting the leg off of the floor. Continue to roll your right shoulder back and widen across your collarbones. Draw your shoulder blades in toward each other and continue steady breathing. It was a lovely day at the beach today, a little chilly, but still very nice today. We'll make our way again back into child's pose, extended child's pose, stretching out the spine again. This time, sweep your hands to your low back and hook your thumbs or interlace the fingers as you exhale. Reach your arms up toward the sky. Stretching out the shoulders a little bit here, not forcing, but just allowing some opening of any amount, just as long as you feel a stretch. Release, sweep the arms in front of you for a moment. Take a breath. And then sweep the arms again to the lower back, hooking the thumbs or other pinky on top and extend the arms up again, any amount I'm breathing here. And then releasing, reach the arms forward again, back up onto the knees and from here, Again, back into an extended child's pose and then up onto the knees again, shifting the hips forward. Keep your spine nice and long and then press back again into a child's pose. Then we're going to shift the hips to the right, bring them forward and then shift the hips over to the left and so make a big circle. Pausing if you want to pause any place. So it's just a nice way to move the body as we warm up, big hip circles or make little hip circles. Do what feels good for you. Keep your breath nice and steady. You can move slowly or a little more quickly. And one more in this direction. 
and then we'll start to switch directions. And again, if you want to stop someplace and just hang out there, feel a good stretch in a certain area, then just do that. And get into your hips, into your shoulders. And then back into extended child's pose, extending the arms forward. Inhale, come back up onto the knees. Shift your body forward, lower all the way down to your belly. Hands by the low ribs, inhale for cobra. So peel the chest up, draw the shoulder blades toward the waist, press all your toenails down into the mats. Inner thighs are spinning up. Drag your hands towards your feet a bit to get your chest to move forward through the gates of your arms. And then back up onto your knees. Hips back to the heels for a moment, child's pose. And then up onto the knees again, check your toes under for downward facing dog, and then start to bend one knee and the other as you bicycle the legs here. Make sure the arms are shoulders distance apart and your feet are hips width. Start to stretch your chest back toward the thighs as you reach your heels toward the floor. And then to the knees again, child's pose. We'll move through this little sequence a couple of times. Inhaling to the knees, shift forward, exhaling all the way down to the belly. Inhale, peel the chest up for low cobra or high cobra, your choice. Pull the belly in, pubic bone pressing down gently to protect your low back. And then from here, we'll make our way back up onto the knees. So lower down a little if you were up high. Come back to the knees, tuck the toes under. Actually back into child's pose for a moment. Then come on up to the knees in a moment and we'll come into downward facing dog again. There we go, stretching back. So if you still would like to bicycle the legs here, that's fine. If that feels good. Otherwise, just nice static down dog with the arms, shoulders distance and the feet hips width. Press into the base of the fingers as you lift up away with your forearms. Come back to the knees on an inhale and back into child's pose on an exhale. Keep the arms extended in front. And then once again, we'll come up onto the knees. This time, option to lift the knees off the floor if you want to. Hug the elbows in as you lower again to the belly. Untuck the toes. Inhale, a little cobra or a high cobra. Or maybe all the way into upward facing dog. Roll the shoulder heads back. Widen the collarbones. And then tuck the toes, make your way back into down dog. Breathing here. Press the inner thighs back, spin them back, and then back to your knees. Now I'm gonna take off my little jacket. You can stay in down dog or child's pose. Re it's getting a little warm. And then from down dog, we'll make our way back. Lift the right leg up, bend the knee, open up the hip. So we'll stretch through that right hip. Try and press evenly through the arms, reaching down with the left heel any amount. Then square off the hips, looking forward. Step the right foot up, take your left knee to the floor and just rest your hands on your right knee for a moment. Pat up the left knee if you need any padding. Put a pillow or a blanket under there. Pull the right hip back and then add your arms on an inhale. Reach up through all four sides of your waist. 
and drop your tailbone toward the floor as you lift your hip points up, maybe gently looking up toward the ceiling if you like, but not having any compression in the neck. As you exhale, take your left hand to the floor and then start to turn to the right and twist. If your left hand doesn't reach the floor, you can make a fist or you can put your hand on a block or a book. Reach the right arm up and twist. Keep pulling the right hip back. And then come back to center hands on the inside of the right foot. Inhale, lengthen the spine here. Either stay or exhale, take the forearms down to the floor or forearms on a block or anything else you have. And if your right knee goes out to the right a little bit, just make sure your right toes also go out to the same side. I always want our toes and our knees aligned as a general rule. Come on up, tuck your back toes and make your way into plank. Knees can be up or down through chaturanga, shoulders no lower than elbows. Inhaling up dog or cobra, your choice. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale to float the left leg up, bend the knee and open up the hip. Stretch it off toward the right side a little bit so you can get a nice stretch through the left side of the hip. Press evenly through the arms. Keep pressing into the base of the fingers and lifting the forearms away. Square off your hips and gently step the left foot up by the left hand. Take the right knee down. Pad up the knee if it needs any padding. And then hands to the left knee just above the knee as you sink in and pull the left hip back inhale extend the arms up spin your triceps forward reach up through arrow straight arms lift your chest broaden through your collarbones draw your shoulder blades gently toward the waist and absorb your front ribs in continue your steady breathing Make sure that your left knee is above your left ankle and pointed straight over the middle toes. Bring your hands down. Keep the right hand on the floor and reach your left arm up and twist. Opening the chest here, still drawing the shoulder blades down away from the ears. And continuing to sink the hips forward, but pulling the left hip back. Hands on the inside of the left foot. Pull the chest through on an inhale. Stay here or exhale to the forearms or forearms on a block or a book, whatever you have. So the left knee is still over the ankle and if it turns out to the left, make sure that the toes also turn out. Inhale, come up, tuck the back toes, make your way into plank, knees up or down, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog or cobra. If you're an up dog, thighs and knees come off the floor. Exhale, down dog. Arms and ears in line, and gaze between the feet. Inhale the right leg up. Again, we'll bend the knee, open up the hip, give it a good stretch. Squaring off the hips, step your right foot up by your right hand again, left knee down. Coming up on your inhale, stretch up through the arms, cross the wrists and try to touch your palms together. Now if that doesn't work for you, just extend the arms straight up. But if you can cross your wrists, touch your palms together, you'll feel a little more stretch in the shoulders. Still sinking forward with the hips. Then take your right hand to the right side, out to the right a little. Reach your left arm in line with your ear and lean over toward the right side so you'll stretch out the left side body. Back to center, left hand down. Reach the right arm up and over and stretch through the right side of your body. And inhale, center. 
So we'll bend the back knee, reaching for your left foot with your left hand. Either hold it back there or draw it forward. Right forearms on the right thigh. That might be too intense. If it is, just let go of the left foot. You don't have to force it. Just getting into the left thigh and the left hip flexor a little bit deeper. But you don't have to. When you sink your hips forward, you should feel a stretch there as well. And releasing. Straighten the right leg, inhale. Exhale, fold forward over the straight right leg for Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. Pull the right hip back and down. Send the left hip forward. Make sure your quadricep muscles, your thigh muscles are all engaged as you stretch the hamstrings. And then re-bend the front knee, tuck the back toes, plank pose. Chaturanga or skip it. Go to down dog. That's fine too. Inhale up dog or cobra. Exhale back into down dog and we'll lift the left leg up and the knee open up the hip. Stretch back, lengthen through the spine. And then square off the hips. Slowly, slowly step the left foot up by the left hand. And come on up into your low lunge. Other wrist in front if you can remember. Palms touching or just extend the arms straight up. Keep sinking the hips. Pulling the left hip back. And then taking the left hand down. Toward the left side, reach the right arm up and over in line with your right ear. Stretch to the right side of the body. Make sure the left shoulder isn't creeping up around your left ear. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, right hand down and reach the left arm up and over. And then all the way up to center on an inhale. As you exhale, left form to left thigh, reach back for the right foot, hold it back or draw it forward, squaring up the hips and the shoulders toward the front of the mat. Or if that's too intense, just leave that right foot back there on the floor. And you might feel more sensation on the right kneecap. If you do, pat it up. Eventually you'll sink forward so you're not right on that kneecap. Release. Exhale. Extend the left leg forward to straighten out the knee and fold forward for Ardha Hanumanasana. Pull the left hip back. Right hip gently forward. Pull up on the kneecap to firm your quadricep muscles. And then we'll rebend, tucking the back toes into plank, chaturanga. Inhaling up dog. Exhaling downward facing dog. Remember, take your knees down, rest anytime if you want to break. Always, always an option. Inhale the right leg up again. Bend the knee, open up the hip. And then square it off. Step the right foot all the way up, left knee to the floor. And now straighten out the right leg again. Exhale, fold over the straight right leg. Either stay there or slide out toward full Hanumanasana. So if you have a yoga block or something or roll up a blanket or a towel, you can put it underneath your front leg if you aren't all the way to the floor and that'll give you a little support. I'm walking my hands forward and I'm going to gently push into the mat to give myself a little resistance. And then when I release it, I might sink down a little more, making sure the right hip's pulling back, the left hip's coming forward. Then roll onto your right hip, bending your right knee, setting up for pigeon. If pigeon hurts your knee, then lean onto your back, take your right ankle just past the left knee for thread the needle instead. Always, always taking care of 
our knees. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, if you're in pigeon, either stay up or extend forward. So we're going to stay here for, I don't know, about a minute, I'd say. So make sure that your hips are level. If you're rolling off to your right hip now, then put a blanket or a block underneath the right hip so that your hips are level. Come back to steady breathing. So we do tend to hold emotions in the hips. So you've probably heard me say this before, but a lot of times when we experience emotions that aren't completely worked through, then we just kind of stuff them down and they get stuck in the hips a lot. It's an emotional part of the body, the second chakra. So if you have an emotional response to pigeon pose or hip openers, it's totally normal and it's good and it will pass. So continue just breathing through it and maybe see if you're gripping and just holding on see if you can let go. Come on up. Take your left forearm parallel with the front of the mat. Reach the right arm up and twist or slide your left arm under the right arm, twisting a little deeper. Bringing your right arm behind you. Maybe hold your toe on the left foot. Or sorry, on the right foot. <laughs> with the left hand. And then come on up. I'm going to turn to the side and extend the legs out to the sides for Upavista Konasana. Sit up nice and tall. Po point the toes and knees up. Exhale, hinging forward from the hips. Come forward with a long spine. Any amount. If coming forward causes you to round your back a lot, then sit up tall. As long as you feel a stretch, that's all that matters. And again, as you pull the toes back, you keep the legs firm, which is important. Make your way up, turn toward the front of the mat again and back to pigeon just briefly. And then roll back onto that right hip and swing the left leg around and pass to the right knee. Take your left hand behind the back, reach the right arm up on an inhale and exhale to twist for Ardha Matsya Andrasana. So you can stay there or I like to bring my hand underneath the thigh and either clasp hands behind me or just keep the hand behind me. Or you can extend the right hand to the outside of the right foot. And roll the left shoulder back that way. Any variation you like. As you inhale, sit up tall. And as you exhale, roll the left shoulder back. Bring the head to center on an inhale. Unwind. Swing that left leg back, tucking the toes under. Sweep the right leg up and back. And just stretch out the right leg. And then set it down. Left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. And then lightly step it through, taking the right knee to the floor and straightening out the left leg. As you exhale, fold over the straight front leg. Either stay in half splits or start to slide out. Make sure you keep your hips squared toward the front of the mat. Put something under the left leg or walk your hands forward a little pressing so you create a little resistance reaching your right toes back. So make sure the right toes are straight back. They're not, the ankle's not turning. And just another breath or two. And then roll to the left hip. Bend the left knee, square off your hips to the front. Inhale, lengthen. Either go right into pigeon or lie on your back. Left ankle just past the right knee. Thread the needle. So either way, make sure that you get some nice length through the spine if you're in pigeon before you extend forward. And also keep the right toes pointed straight back behind you. The ankle wants to turn a little bit, so we'll try to keep it not for, keep it from turning. And if your left hip's rolled off to the left, prop it up so that it's level with the right hip. That will keep your left knee safer. 
But if, again, if there's any discomfort in the knee, don't try to breathe through that one. Just come onto your back and take another hip opener. Take thread the needle or another one that you know of. And once you get into your hip opener, just breathe. Long inhales. Long, smooth exhales. Releasing any tension. Releasing any negative self-talk. Breathing in positivity, breathing out negativity, breathing in love, breathing out fear. Inhale and come up, right forearm parallel with the front of the mat, lift the left arm up or slide your right arm all the way out so you're on the right shoulder. Left arm up and behind you to the low back or hook it and grab onto your left big toe. So you're twisted. And if you're in thread the needle, you can just stay a little bit longer. And then unwind, coming up. I'm going to roll onto the left hip and turn toward the right feet legs wide for upa vista konasana inhale sit up nice and tall as you exhale take your right hand to the inside of the right leg reach your left arm up and over in line with your left ear keep rolling the left top ribs back bring the bottom right ribs forward so you're leaning over your right leg and try to turn your chest up toward the ceiling now you don't have to hold on to the right foot, but if you do, make sure you're not rolling forward. Inhaling up. And then left hand toward the inside of the left leg, right arm up. Either keep it up or extend the right arm over. So the side body is stretching like crazy, but also keep extending through the left side body left bottom ribs forward spin the right top ribs back so almost as if you could turn your belly up to face the ceiling keep the toes and knees pointed up that'll keep your legs nice and firm and inhale to come up Turn to face the front of the mat, bending the left knee like pigeon just for a moment, then roll to the left hip, swing the right leg all the way around. Right hand behind, inhale, lengthen, exhale, left arm across, twist. And again, inhale, lengthen, tall, exhale, twist. Take any variation that you took on the first side. Bring your head to center and unwind. And we'll come right onto the back, setting up for bridge pose. Take your feet hips width apart, outer edges of your feet parallel, and press up into bridge. Lift the hips, low back, mid back, maybe upper back. Either point your fingertips up toward the ceiling or roll the shoulders under, interlace the fingers. Spiral your thighs in toward each other and keep your chin away from your chest, lengthening out the whole front of your body. And then lower down, soles of feet together, knees apart and rest. And we'll take the feet again, hips distance apart, heels under knees. Come on back up into bridge, interlace the fingers or not. Still stretching out the front of the body. 
and then option to go all the way into wheel hands up by the ears elbows point straight up come to the crown of the head line up your wrists under your elbows elbows parallel and then straighten out the arms keep the toes pointed in a little toward each other spiral the thighs in toward each other like you're holding a block between your inner thighs and stretch out the whole front of the body you're all the way up chin to chest first and come down and then rest soles of feet together knees apart feeling that nice opening that nice beating of the heart one more time another bridge or coming all the way up into wheel hands by the ears so pause at the crown of the head if you're coming to wheel and again, line up your wrists under your elbows. Make sure your elbows are parallel, toes are, and feet are parallel. Then press up. Reach the tailbone toward the backs of your knees. Reach your chest toward the side of the mat that you can see. Arms and ears in line. Imagine that there are people on either side of you and just drawing you in two separate directions to lengthen you out. Chin toward chest to come down, and this time we'll hug the knees in. Gently rocking side to side. Feeling that energy move through the body. Begin to rock yourself back and forth. Couple rocks, come up to seated. And extend the legs out, flex the ankles. Reach up through your arms on an inhale. Hinge from the hips on the exhale. Lengthen, inhale. And extend forward, exhale. Keep reaching the crown of your head forward, but pulling your toes back. Lengthen through the spine. Try not to round your back here. Lead with the chest, belly toward thighs instead of head toward knees. Inhale the head up, exhale, release onto our backs. We'll make our way right into Shavasana. So reach the tailbone toward the heels, arms by your sides, draw your shoulder blades gently toward the waist, allow your chest to be open and then close your eyes and let everything just sink into your mat. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana. We're resting here just a little bit longer. I'm making this voiceover. It's Mother's Day today. And my husband took the boys out so that I could do this without lots of noise in the background. So I thought for Mother's Day, I would use one of my, one of my favorite quotes from Amma. And Amma actually means mother. And she is known as the hugging saint. The sun shines down and its image reflects in a thousand different pots filled with water. The reflections are many, but they are each reflecting the same sun. Similarly, when we come to know who we truly are, we will see ourselves in all people. So start to make your way up slowly back to seated knowing that we are all connected bring our hands together in front of the heart 
hands to the forehead reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts, hands to heart reminding us to have clear and loving intentions, and the hands to the mouth reminding us to have clear and loving communications. I will send out this wonderful energy we've created today to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you, thank you so much for joining us today. If you liked our little stretching and flowing class, please push the like button. And thank you again to Ina Gary. If you, there is um, a class that you would like to see, please leave it in the comments below. Or if you have questions, please leave those in the comments below. And if you are able to donate to us any, any amount, it doesn't matter. Everything helps. We are trying to bring yoga to as many people as we can possibly reach because we really truly believed that we do believe that the world will be a better place if more people practice yoga. So if you'd like to help us in that mission, there's a link below through PayPal. Please visit fightmasteryoga.com. If you are interested in teacher trainings or in coming on a yoga retreat, please email me. Bye. My email's below.